everyone, I'm here with your Terrascope for the week of September the 17th to the 23rd of 2018. I am using uh, the Steampunk Tarot along with the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. If you're interested in daily draws, I do that on Instagram, so these are my weekday draws. As well, just a reminder, on Patreon for the month of September, I'm doing Witch School, uh, where you can enroll, and it's a weekly uh, lesson and video, and that's going to go for the whole year, but enrollment's only open for September. And then um, you're also, if you enroll in that, you also get access to the Online Coven as well as Terrorism Astrology videos. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, check it out if you're interested. Links are below. All right. So uh, let's get started on our Terrascopes for the week. So for Aries, we have uh, the High Priestess. Uh, this definitely is a card showing you this is not a week for action. This is a week to kind of just take information in a week to kind of think about you know what you uh like observe what's going on around you use your intuition your intuition is going to be on point about things so pay attention to it this is also a good week to kind of explore some spiritual things explore some occult things maybe work on psychic development it's definitely a week of kind of going more within for you aries for taurus we have the knight of pentacles reversed now Knight of Pentacles is a very Taurus card. Uh, you you know, it's very slow and steady wins a race. It's very earthy. But it's saying that this is a week where you're getting exhausted, where you're tired. You've been kind of going at things for a while, and now you're just really tired. So this is, um, and maybe even feeling a little discouraged. So this card is reminding you that it's okay to slow down and it's okay to take a rest before you keep going on your journey. For Gemini, we have the Five of Cups. So there may be a sense of disappointment or loss this week, Gemini. Now, um, it may not be necessarily that something is happening this week that disappoints you, but it could be there's something that reminds you of something that passed, uh, from the past that disappointed you. And again, this is saying it's okay to slow down, it's okay to mourn, but it's important to remember that not all the cups are spilled, um, like these two in the foreground, two or three in the foreground. There's still two cups left. There's still some really good things going on too. For Cancer, we have the Nine of Wands. So um, this is encouraging you uh, to keep going, to keep going even if you don't feel like it. Unlike Taurus, this card where it's saying, you know, you need to slow down a bit. This one's saying you gotta keep going. Um, you know, that you're almost at the finish line, you're almost there, your goal is um, just around the corner. So, you know, keep going. For Leo, we have the Page of Wands. Uh, there may be good news coming from a friend this week, Leo. It's also telling you to be a good friend too. Um, friends are definitely one of the themes for the week. There's a message of importance that's coming um, for the week and you need to hear it. It's also encouraging you to express your creative side and to get out and have a little fun. Virgo. Virgo has the Seven of Cups. Um, Virgo, you're feeling like, you know, there's a lot of choices on your plate. You could do a lot of different things, but you're really not sure which one you want. Um, this is not a great time for making decisions. This is more of a time to step back and think about things and look at things from different angles. Um, there's a lot of things you could be doing and they all look equally good, but it's encouraging to kind of look at the long term and to look at like what, you know, the whole saying of all that glitters is not gold. Uh, what looks good but may not be so good under the surface. So it's a good time to kind of step back and think about things before taking action this week. For Libra, we have the Empress. Um, a very Libra-like card. I kind of feel like maybe you got this last week or recently. But the Empress uh, is ruled by Venus, which rules your sign as well. And we do have, you know, the Sun and uh, Mercury shifting into the sign of Libra this week. So um, there's a lot of Libra-like energy around, and it's saying that you are feeling very creative, very abundant, very generous. This is a great week to enjoy yourself, take care of yourself, to indulge in things. Also a good week to be creative, though, too, to get some things done. So it's, it's a great week to be a Libra. For Scorpio, we have the Chariot. Scorpio, you are determined. Unlike some of the other times, signs which are feeling tired, you are like, no, I am ready to go. I'm going for things, I'm, I'm taking action, I'm taking charge. Um, you know where you're going, what you're doing. It's also indicating if you have any travel plans this week that they are going to go well. For Sagittarius, we have Judgment. Um, Sagittarius, you're called to make a decision. Unlike Virgo, who is told, no, 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 don't make a decision right now. 
you know what you need to do you just have to step up and do it you've heard the call you know what you need to do you just got to take action and listen even if it doesn't always feel like it makes sense to other people you need to do it and you know what you need to do for capricorn we have temperance uh, another major arcana so a week of balance for you capricorn it's time to find some emotional balance capricorns you're famous for working hard all the time and it's saying that you know what you need to find some emotional balance you need some to find some time to rest some time to play some time to just enjoy yourself and find that space that emotional balance within yourself it's also cautioning you to be patient with any goals that things are happening in their own time and it's saying that there is um, a lot of spiritual support around you right now for Aquarius we have the ten of swords reversed so this is a card where you know when it's upside down when it's right side up I would say it's almost a little more difficult than upside down um, you know there there's been some endings there's been some things that you know you've felt like they've come to an end they've run their course and now it's time to move on now it's time to let go and move on and this is saying that you're ready for that you're ready to let go and move on and to start doing things in a new way and to see things in a new way and Pisces we have the lovers so like Virgo and like Sagittarius this is a week where you're faced with a choice now unlike Sagittarius who feels like they know what they need to do and unlike Virgo who's being cautioned not to make a choice right away this one's saying that your choice is a little more difficult that it is between a couple of things or a couple of different things that you love um, and both look equally good and with this card I always you know caution people follow your heart on this one not your head uh, your heart knows what it wants it's just a matter of looking within so that's what I'm seeing for the week um, I'm also for our um, Oracle card of the week we have truth um, I think that's an interesting one especially considering we have three different cards or three different signs that had decisions to make this week or we're faced with some kind of decision so what they all boil down to is following your truth I think so uh, I think with Virgo it's cautioning you know you don't see the whole truth right now so that's maybe why it's not time to make a decision whereas with Sagittarius it's saying like you know deep down what the truth is you just need to do it and then um, with Pisces it's saying you have to discover your truth you have to listen to your heart to discover your truth um, with many of the other signs is being cautioned, you know, about things like keeping going, um, you know, working towards your goals or uh, needing time to rest. And all these things boil down to is following your truth, following the truth that's within you um, and not flinching away from it, from really looking at things in, um, you know, in a very honest way and being honest with ourselves. So that's the reading that I have for this week. Um, I hope it is helpful. And if you have any comments or questions, please put in the links. Or in the links in the comments below and I will see you all next